Hey everybody, we're here with Jay Harris at J.O. Harris Sales. Can you see the sign? Yes. Cool. We got the sign. Good nice deal. sign up there, Jay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We're in the middle of nowhere today. Well, actually, it's windy here, but it's in western Illinois. Is this, this counts as western Illinois. It would, it? yeah. Yep, western okay. central Illinois, so. We've got something in our truck that I've been looking for for years, and Jay specializes in them. He's got a whole field full of these planters. Jay, can you tell us about this thing? What do we got yeah. here? Well, this is a one row 7100. We've built them, we've, we've built them probably 20 years. Um, it's got a, its own drive system or transmission, just like a big planter has. So it's got all the factory population settings. It's got factory drive wheels and one unit in the middle. So this is made for like your smaller tractors, like your subcompact tractors or a, or a small compact diesel tractor. And uh, it's got two drive wheels on it and that makes it really stable. So depending on what tractor you have, it's gonna stay, stay in the ground and, and go good. Uh, I've got a lot of guys that want a no-till with it and that kind of gives you a little extra weight so the, the bar works good. And, and it goes on the ground good. But we build one rows, two rows, three rows, four rows. I mean, we build anywhere from one to a 48 row planter we've had through here uh, in the last few years. So I can uh, I can kind of get you fixed up so whatever you want. You you find old planters. Uh, these are kind of rebuilt old planters, right? That's correct. What we do is we sell a lot of planters, sell a lot of bigger planters, and um, have a lot of planter parts. So what we started with this is we had a few extra row units and transmissions and drive wheels, and we built a two row back it's been probably 20 years ago or better and it, it really turned into a pretty good business for us we, we really uh, sell a lot of them we probably do over 100 uh, uh, we've had as many as 200 in a year every year we build over 100 of them every year what we do is is we'll build our own bar so it started out with a seven by seven bar uh, with a factory transmission on it and then uh, two rows got one wheel right in the middle uh, the one rows have two, three rows have two wheels, and, and so on. We've got a fabrication shop, we've got a paint shop, uh, we've got the big shop that we assemble all the bigger planters and everything with, and we pretty well build these little planters year round. We build John Deere ones, we build ones of Kinsey units. Uh, this one's got 7,000 units on it, but we've also built uh, some with like 7,200, 7,300, or the Maximerge Plus, uh, Maximerge XP row units. Uh, we build a lot of them for like seed corn companies, for research planters, plot planters, food plot planters, sweet corn planters, My uh, deer hunters. I mean, uh, we we just sent one to Israel last year. Uh, we've got a man from Ecuador coming up to get get some stuff next week. I mean, we ship, shipped quite a few of them over to Ukraine and overseas. So, I mean, they kind of go all over the place. That's pretty amazing. So, so you take these old planters, some of this stuff is new, some of this is old, it's kind of a mixture, right? And uh, I, I assume the, 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 the uh, drive wheels are off old planters or are they new as well? Yep, uh, so the drive wheels are regular 7,000 7, drive wheels. Yep. We uh, manufacture a wheel adjuster for it. And um, use transmission, we put all new bearings in the drive system. So you got new bearings in the lower drive shaft, the transmission and the upper hex drive shaft. We put new blades, new scrapers, new parallel arm bushings. Uh, new closing wheel uh, frame bushings. We, we put a rebuilt closing wheel frame on the 7,000. We put new ones on 7200s and newer. Uh, we rebuild the corn meters and run them on our precision planting uh, meter max stand. Um, got a, of course, used seed box, used row unit, but we repaint everything. Uh, try to make them as nice as we can. You know, they're, yeah. they're, they're an older planter, but we try to fix everything that we know and try to get up in a really good shape for, so they're going to have a lot of years left to service. Well, yeah, they, typically folks aren't going to plant a lot of crop with these. These are used for small, but there's really no way sweet corn is so shrivelly and everything. A plate planter just doesn't work very well with sweet corn. No, it's tough, and, and the figure pickup meters do a really good job. Um, now we're even starting to get guys that, that get the precision planting sweet corn meters that have special fingers and backing plates. I say that's a you know a small majority of my customers. A lot of them just use the standard finger pickup meters, but I mean I've got customers that plant um, sweet corn, pumpkins, uh, lima beans, uh, green beans, uh, milo, sunflowers. Uh, of course, your regular field corn and soybeans. Um, I've got customers planting wheat with them with a wheat plate uh, on on some of the bigger planters, uh, cover crops. I mean it's unbelievable all the different things you can plant. But it's a lot more accurate than plate planter. The plate planters have a tendency of grinding the sweet corn up. These here will not do that. You get everything set right, you should get a, a very good stand. Okay, okay. So what does something like this run? Um, 
a one row like this is $2,500. A two row, same same price, is $2,500 also. Uh, then we kind of go from there. You know, our four rows start out at $3,950, and, and that's just kind of for the base models. Um, we can add no-till cutters. We can add heavy down pressure springs. We can add uh, Kinsey brush meters for soybeans, uh, row cleaners, uh, spike closing wheels, drag chains. I mean, all now kinds for, of stuff. For a lot of my viewers, uh, a lot of things you just said just blew them away, right? I mean, they're, they're not from agriculture backgrounds, they're not from farming backgrounds. If, if they don't know what they need, can, can you help them and talk them through this? We, we sure can. We, we have a lot of customers that have never ran a planter before that we help them kind of figure out what they need, what they're going to do. Uh, they tell us kind of what their field conditions are, uh, what crops they're going to plant, uh, what they have for a tractor, and we try to help them out, figure out what, they, what they're going to do and what they need. And, and I, I, I try not to sell them stuff that they don't need. I, I want it to work for them as, as much as they do because you know, I, I've been in that situation where you're learning yeah. and you don't know a lot, about a, pro, a lot about a product and you just want to learn and, and try to figure out what's going to meet your needs without breaking the bank. And, um, we have a lot of different options, um, and the nice thing about these planters is, you know, if, if you buy one like today, you're you're working your ground, and then you decide, well, I want to do a food plot, and I don't want to work the ground. Well, then you can call me up and say, hey, I bought this planter off you. I want a no-till now. We can add a, a a cutter, a rolling cutter on the front to to work the ground, or heavier springs, or maybe there's a new crop that you're wanting to plant. We can kind of fix you up with that and talk it through. I mean, there's several of us here. I mean. Uh, it's as uh, business as me and my dad and my, my wife uh, own the business um, and we've got quite we've got 26 employees so I've got about six of them that answer the phone every day so Roger is one of them you know that uh, loaded the planter uh, a little bit a little bit ago here today and and my wife Mary Beth and, and Robin and Nathan and Josh and Brandon and and dad, you know, there's the whole a lot of gang. Us. Yes. I saw an Oliver sign back here. Sounds like he must, used to be an Oliver dealer. Well, we, we used to deal a lot, a lot more Oliver equipment. My my grandpa and the and the Oliver dealer up the road were really good friends, and that's one of the ways my grandpa got started in the equipment business was with uh, uh -huh. Oliver corn pickers and and Minneapolis mulling corn shellers and that uh -huh. kind of stuff. So I kinda... see a couple, two or three Olivers out here too. That's uh, yeah, that's nice. I bet uh, oh, they're they're kind of rusting down. It kind of hurts me to see them <laughs> rusting like well, that. We've got a shed full. Of painted well, not all of them are painted, but you ought to go back there in the shed before you leave. Oh my, there's a, that's tempting. Yeah, my dad's probably got a hundred plus Olivers. Oh my so goodness! So there's a bunch of them in this shed, and uh, then we've got sheds on other farms that have got some on it too. So that's, I keep on telling me needs a big, like a museum, museum shed display, type, yeah. type deal. But yeah. he's he's got yeah. a lot of different ones. I mean, starting from back in the Oh, his older ones were probably in the 50s, but most of them are going to be late 60s, early 70s, you know, like 1655s yep. and yep. 1555s and things like that. Yeah, that's, so. our, that's our era. Back to the planters. We talked a little about the deer. Um, you have other brands. You said you had the Kinsey, which are probably very similar to the deer because they yep. were copies. Yep. Uh, if you're ever interested in that, there's a there's a uh, book about that from John Kinzenbaugh, and he goes into great detail about the, the big hubbub that happened in the late 70s and early 80s with the Kinsey versus deer. and. Uh, it's on our Amazon store, by the way, amazon.com slash shop slash tractor time with Tim. But you also have the international planners, right? Are they priced similarly? Yeah, um, the international ones are. Um, I've got a, a one row international uh, for 1950, and I've got uh, some two rows for 2500. So I, sometimes I'll have some cheaper ones. These here are, are kind of some of the late ones, the very last ground driven um, Case IH, like eight, 900 row units. And I, I've got three of them right now, but I, I don't always have those. Those are yeah. those are kind of hard to find anymore because they're ground driven. Yeah. Now the deer ones, of course. I mean, well, yeah. You mentioned it right there. The ground driven parts. You talked about the old Alice Chalmers. Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 those were nicer for these small planters because they were simpler, right? Yeah. But oftentimes they were plate planters. Those old Alice were all plate planters. That, right? That, that's right. They made an air planter, but the air planters. Um, you know, they're a little more complicated for people to get onto and they have electric blowers and stuff and they do fine, but these are gonna be a lot easier to run. Uh, the, the finger pickups are gonna do a better job as far as singulating the seed compared to the plate planters. Um, the internationals are plate planters, the, the ones we have. I mean, everybody's really familiar with like the Cyclo air planters. These aren't air planters, they're just okay. a plate planter. Um, but we sell a few of those, because but they're just not as common as what the John Deere 7000 7200s are. Anything else you want to tell our viewers, Dave? Oh, I stop by and see us. Our website is www.joharrissales.com. 
Like I said, we're just three miles north of Interstate 72, exit 76. So we're just north of Alexander. I mean, we've been here for years and years. I mean, my dad and I, we kid that neither one of us have got very far in life because we live within four miles of here our whole life. <laughs> so uh, so my, my wife and kids and dad and you know all of us are involved and my mom and my sister also and it sounds I'd be like glad a life, for to come you know, by. a family fashion. That's really cool. It oh, is. We should ask, um, let's say some of our viewers are not within driving distance. Can you get them a planner? Yes. Uh, we ship them all over the place. I mean we, we can we ship overseas, we ship all across the United States. Uh, I've even shipped two planters into Hawaii, so uh, we can containerize, we can do truck shipments. Um, we've got five guys that deliver every day that work for us. So, I mean, a lot of times we'll have a truck going somewhere in the United States and we can put one on and, and meet up with a person or deliver them. Okay. So, transportation is not an issue at all. Okay. Well, I tell you what, if you get over to Lebanon, Indiana in late summer, you stop by and have a year of sweet corn. Okay. Sounds great. Thanks very much, hey, Jay. appreciate it. Thanks you for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.